what up guys um, I'm gonna show you guys how to lower your car in Photoshop uh, just bear with me one second alright what you're gonna use I use the polynormal lasso tool lasso tool sorry about that I'm sorta of sick let me zoom in um, yeah I'm s then what you do is see this is how I've been showed how to do it let me zoom out a little bit oh you know what fuck it I'll just zoom in a lot <coughs> So, you want to like, uh, you know, hold up, one second, I might as well just zoom out because I'm going to have to be able to go out the sides. Alright, so I was, I was been taught to do this like this, you, uh, you over, you outline the car, the wheel wells, um, you can either take your time or do it super freaking sloppy and fast and end up having a piece of shit picture, but, you know, either way, patience does pay off on this, I've noticed, um, I messed up a little bit, but, oh well, it's just a tutorial, not going to take my super time and do it all perfect. This comes in handy when you want to like make your car look super low or the picture of the car. Um, if you guys are wondering what I'm using uh, f to record this video, Camtasia Studio, the, the full one, not the trial. I wouldn't um, recommend any other ones because. I think Camtasia is like by far from personal experience the best uh, screen recording software out there and uh, yeah um, do the exhaust What you're going to do after you've highlighted everything, you want to right click, new layer, name it lowered because so you know that's the layer that you lowered. Then, once you do that, you want to click over here to on the background image and you're going to go up to edit and click copy, then go back to the lowered layer and click edit and click paste. All right, now once that's done. This is where you get to lower your car. You right click on the picture. It says freeform transfer. Click that. Now, let me zoom out real quick so you can see. Freeform transfer. Now, if you notice, you can lower the car. Um, what I suggest to do is not try to lower it, like, don't lower it, like, all the way down here. No. Just try to lower it a little where it's you know it looks real not fake not a big old cluster fuck of lowerness no if you noticed let me zoom in now after you lower it if you noticed that there's an empty space right here where the subframe of the car is now there's a few ways you can do this to fix that the easiest way that I do that I know how to do it is See, I click eyedropper. Now, you do that, and it gets the color of that area you selected. So what I do, usually, is I will get the paintbrush and just do a line right here. I'm just doing the lines right now. Just do a line across to the rim. Now, make the thing a little bigger. You can take your time with this, or you could do it half-ass. Oh, another way is click on the background image when you go to paint. That way it paints behind the background image, not on it. Now paint, now paint in that area. Um, 
you don't have to but paint in the area you can leave it or you can edit it do whatever you want I just paint it in just because that's easier for me that's how I've always done it now when you zoom out you notice it looks real and uh, that's how you lower your car if uh, I will be making another video on how to put rims on your car and if you need any help um, PM me or leave me a comment Leaders.